Crafty Ria. Crafty Ria. Hello, it's Crafty Ria. I'm so glad you are joining me today. Today I have some projects that I will be um, doing featuring products that I received from Craspire. I will put all of the links to everything below. Craspire is a company that um, deals in these uh, wax melts and these stamps to make sealing wax for your envelopes. Today I will be featuring some products from my most recent purchase, which is this stamp of this Christmas tree. I bought these wax melts to go with it because of the dark green especially. And I also bought this little stirring stick and it has a really pretty pink bead on the end and this can stir the wax. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using this little furnace. It has some wax on it that I spilled, but this little furnace um, has a place down at the bottom for a tea light candle and then a little hole at the top and it has a couple of wood handles. I have it on top of a um, ceramic tile that I got at the hardware store or at the home improvement store. Um, I bought these tiles back when I was doing some polymer clay items to bake them in the oven. I have two tiles, one just to protect my work surface because I will have a lit candle, and then the other one I just have wrapped in parchment paper that I'm going to do the actual wax pours on. I have a couple of these handles that I use to melt the wax. Um, I have a whole bunch of them, but since I've already used these two, I thought I would just go ahead and use them again. They already have some wax in them, but that's not gonna hurt anything. I have this cute little tea light. A lot of the times when you order things from Craspire, they um, send you a pack of tea lights to go with it. It just depends on what you order. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that tea light right in the bottom there. I trimmed the wick to make it about a quarter of an inch. I have my grill lighter, safety lighter, and I'm going to just light the candle. There we go. And I also want to tell you a couple things about Craspire. Um, they gave me a coupon code Maria5, and that gives you $5 off of 40. And they also offer worldwide free shipping on your order of $50 or more. They graciously um, emailed me and asked me if I wanted to purchase or pick out some items from their website and they sent them to me um, for free and I agreed to make some videos. So these are some of the items I chose this last time. I'm going to go ahead and pick out some of these little wax melts in green and just drop them into my little ladle. I'm going to do all green. I'm going to try six of them and see what happens. These are a little smaller. Now they're on the floor. They're a little smaller than the ones that I had gotten before. The ones I had gotten before are that shape and I use about five of those, I think. So in this case, I put six green ones in there and we'll see um, how it works. So like I said, I have this Christmas tree stamp and I'm excited to try it with these green wax melts. And in this package, we have, it looks like we have some red, green, and brown in like jewel tones. I thought they'd be great for Christmas. 
So I'm going to take my little stirring stick and just kind of give these a stir. There was some lighter green wax in this ladle. You don't have to stir it. Um, but in this case, I just kind of want to mix that lighter green in with the darker green so you kind of can't see it. It kind of is giving it a pretty, like a pearlized sheen. And then you can see that it is pretty well melted. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the wax and just pour it right onto this into a circle shape. And I'm going to let it just sit for a minute there. I'm going to take my other one here and I'm going to put in this one. I have three gold pieces of wax and two silver and let those melt. Now then I'm going to take my Christmas tree stamp and just stick it down right on there and let that sit while this other wax is melting. I have a bunch of other wax beads that I had gotten in prior orders. I have these pastel beads. And then I have this bag of mixed beads and that's where I picked out some silver and gold beads out of this mix. I thought they would be good for a Christmas tree as well. And then I'm just gonna let this sit here until it gets cool enough to pull apart. There we go. And there we have that green Christmas tree. Now I moved it around a little bit too much. I got some lines in there, but I can remelt this. And I will show you how easy that is. So if it doesn't turn out right, just stick it right back in your little ladle and re-melt it. And as far as the silver and gold together, I don't want to mix them up completely. I want it to be a swirl. This little mixing tool is awesome. I love it already. I didn't have anything to use before and I am so glad I have this. Okay, so now this one's ready to pour and I'm just going to pour it. I'm going to take this green one and put it back. And then I just have this and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut this into four little pieces and stick it right back in that little ladle. And melt that right back down. I have some smoke because I got some wax underneath. There we go. And then before this cools too much, I'm just going to stick the Christmas tree right on it. There we go. And let that cool down completely. I found that if I let it cool off a little bit rather than sticking the heavy weight right on it, it kind of doesn't spread out so much. If you do it while the mac wax is completely hot, I find that it um, flattens the wax, I think, too much. 
and this is still pretty hot so I will give it another minute or so and give this other green wax a stir there we go that came out great it's the silver Christmas tree All right, now we're ready to pour this green. And I have this other ladle here, and let me see. I have this, I have copper and um, this like cinnamon color, I would say, this red, and then two copper. And I thought that would be pretty for Christmas. So I'll put those in there. And let me go ahead and put my Christmas tree stamp right in there. And with this one here, this copper one, I don't want it totally mixed up. I want it to be a little bit of a swirl. Like the silver. Now I also have these pens that I got from Craftspire in a prior order. They're metallic markers and I have a green one and I think I'm going to just gently color this Christmas tree green. So it stands out. There we go. I like the way that came out. Oh, and let me go ahead and pull this green one off. That came out perfect. All right, and I will let that cool down the rest of the way. It, even after you take um, the stamp off, sometimes it's still a little hot. And this one looks really pretty. I'm just swirling it a little bit with this uh, stirring stick. And then I will pour that one out. And my last one today, I'll leave that one. I have five just bright red pieces of wax. Oh, now this one spread out a lot. It's going to be big. There we go. And this green Christmas tree, I think I can use silver. I have the silver marker and see how that looks. And I'm just coloring the raised part of the image. I can take the gold marker and color the star.
That one came out really pretty. It came out quite big. I'm going to pour this one on a colder spot. This spot here that I just poured it on is pretty hot. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to wait just a second and let it cool off in the bowl because it was practically boiling. And I think that's what happened with this one. When you get the wax really hot, it melts and then it expands a little bit faster. So I will pour this on the colder spot. There we go, and then we have a smaller circle. And I'm just waiting for a second or two to let it cool off a little bit, and then I am putting the stamp right down. I'm gonna go ahead and blow out my candle. And I'm going to push this a little bit out of my way. And then I have this one here. And I can color this again with the green. And I'll color the star gold at the top. Now you can also pour this directly on your envelope to seal your envelopes. That's what it's intended for. But I went ahead and just poured them on parchment paper. You can use wax paper and I think you can even pour them directly onto the tile and they should come right off. They do have tiles available at craftspire.com that you can purchase. They're little like stones that you can um, do your wax melts on. But I ha already have these, so I thought I would go ahead and use these. So again, my coupon code is Maria5, M-A-R-I-A, -A, and the number five, and that's $5 off of 40. They have worldwide free shipping on orders over $50, and I will put all of the links below. There we go. And there we have it in red. And let me go ahead and color it in in green. I have another green marker. I think it's a lighter green. Let's see how this green looks. Yeah, it's more of a metallic green. I like this. And again, I'm just coloring the raised image part of this. And I will use this gold for the star. I really like the way that one looks. I'm going to use a little bit of this metallic green kind of blending it in with that other green on this one and on this one I think a little bit there we go just a tiny bit just to add a little dimension to those trees and I might add a little green to this silver tree just put a couple little stripes in there I really like the way that red one came out. That is so pretty. So there you go, there are four seals. And like I said, you can do them directly on an envelope to seal the envelope, or you can do them like this and use them on your cards. You can use them over a piece of ribbon on your card, um, or just about anything else where you would want an embellishment. I was so happy to see these 
Christmas trees on their um, website. And you know, I do a lot of recycled Christmas cards and such. So I thought this would be perfect. And this little stirring stick works really, really well. I love how that works. That's perfect. I will put all of the links in the description box below. If you do check them out, please come back and let me know what some of your favorite products are. If you have any ideas for me to use these, please leave that in a comment below as well. I'd love to hear your ideas. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do click on that subscribe button and then click on the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you would give the video a thumbs up if you like what you see, then YouTube will know what other types of videos to suggest for you in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.